Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. We're in the first week of the month of October and everything God has said, He is bringing them to pass. Everyone. Praise God. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? Are you ready? Join me right now. Say, Father. I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, when we pray this prayer, we are not praying it. It's not something we are reciting. We release our faith. You know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. Everyone who walks with God develops patterns with God. Now, you see those patterns, they become traditions that he will pass down to many generations. You see that now? But now, it's also important, and that's why you see me explain these things most of the time. It's also important in passing it down, you teach the essence of it. So, the, those that are following after you will not think that it's just a recitation. Always remember the, the encounter that produce that pattern. See that now? So, the Lord have said, look, on this broadcast, lead my children to ask for their daily bread. Now, for as many as do this in faith, you will just begin to realize that the, the days of you lacking, they were, they are all, they've gone, they are over. You will just realize that somehow your needs are just being met without the former struggle that you used to have. I've received many of such testimonies. Many of such testimonies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, listen, it's, it's, it's important. Don't just do, you know, sometimes, you see, when God speaks to you, He has spoken to you. Oh, yes, He's spoken to you. And I remember, I've shared this with you, I remember many, many years ago, you know, a friend of mine had come to visit me. And then, so I, I, I was, um, she was about leaving and I was escorting her. So we got to the park and while she sat in the vehicle, I said, okay, let's pray. The moment I said, let's pray, the anointing of God's spirit rested on me. And when he rested on me, I heard him say, pray like this. I love it when he does that. Praise God. Because now you know the prayer is so accurate. He gave you the words to pray. So he told me, pray like this. And I just prayed exactly as I heard him say I should pray. And we blessed God and she left. So I'm like, wow, that prayer, it's so complete and accurate. Then the word of the Lord came to me and said, every time you travel from henceforth or every time you pray for someone who's going on a trip, you must pray this prayer. Now, that was the word of the Lord that came to me. Now, every time I pray that prayer, I release my faith in it. I'm not just doing a recitation because I know the power of that trip, the power to keep that person safe or keep me safe on that trip is in these words I just declared. I know that. Now you see, that's how he comes. That's how the Spirit of God speaks to us. And when he does, you take his word and obey him. That's all he calls you to do. Obey him. So, when he told me, the same way he spoke to me concerning this broadcast, said, from henceforth, every day on this broadcast, you must lead my children to make demand for their daily bread. See? So, I have to obey him. Now, he said, lead my children. So, you learn to follow. Don't just, mm, mm, amen. No, I, I demand, say it, I demand for my daily bread, for my daily bread. Just the same, whatever I say, you should say. It's now you are showing that you believe. And let me tell you how this works. I don't mind spending time on this. 
Let me tell you how these things work. He's giving me the command. And because he's giving me the command, now before he even gave me the command, remember David said, for he has given his angels charge consigning me to keep me in all my ways. Now he gave them charge. So before he gave the command, he has already given the angels charge. And, and what is the charge? My children are going to pray like this. And when they pray like this, make sure you minister to their needs. Now, you see, this is it. You are a child of God. You love God so much. And the word of the Lord has come to you. and says, every day pray like this. And then you say, ah, okay. You pray the first day. You pray the second day. And then say, and then God knows now. God knows what I need now. So he knows. But the angels don't know. Oh, yes, they don't know. The command they have received, now this is how these things work. The command they have received is when you hear them pray like this, respond like this. Make sure their needs are met. Now here you are. I'm saying let's pray together. And then you go, mm, okay, he's, he's praying. Amen, amen. All they, they hear you say is amen. To what? They don't know. And don't assume they know. Angels are not omniscient. They only know what they have been told. So when they come to walk with you, you must be in tune with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God will tell you what to say. The Spirit of God will tell you what to do. Now when you obey the Holy Spirit, the angels will see you do what they have been commanded to look out for. And when they look out, this is how to live in peace and with ease. You are dressing up in the morning. He says in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Who will direct your path? Not the angels. The Lord will direct your path. How does he direct your path? You are dressing up in the morning and you want to wear that blue shirt. And he says, oh, Lord, what do you think about this blue shirt? He says, ah, you'll be asking God for shirt. Yes, in all your ways. What does it mean all your ways? All your decision making process. All your decision making ways. Uh, which, which way are your ways? Your decisions. So when he says in all your ways, he's talking about in all your decisions. Acknowledging. He's not saying it's in all your ways. Okay, the only way I'm traveling. Uh, Father, as I go on this ship, acknowledge. No, in all your ways. He's talking about your thinking, your decision making. Just like when he says when he, uh, there is a way that seems right to him. And he's not talking about a physical road. He's talking about a, a, a pattern of reasoning. He's talking about a system of thinking. See, it's in your mind. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And what's going to happen? Now, you, you're about to wear that blue shirt. You say, Lord, what do you think about this blue shirt? And then he, you just suddenly hear, don't, don't wear that blue shirt. Wear the red one. Like, hmm. Hmm. Some of you don't know that was the Holy Spirit. Some of you thought it was your mind that was just telling you not to wear the red one. That's the Holy Spirit. See, that's why you must learn to acknowledge Him. Because if you learn to acknowledge Him, for example, you walk into a room and there are three people in the room. And they are all busy doing what they are doing. Maybe one is on the phone, maybe one is on... And then maybe it's your room, for example. And then you open the wardrobe and you are about to take the blue shirt. And you hear someone say, eh, why don't you take the red one? You won't know immediately that they are talking to you. Right? You won't. You, is that for me? Or I thought that person was on the phone. I don't want to look. Maybe it's not for me. There must be an acknowledgement between the two of you. That's the only way you will be sure that you have been spoken to. So that's why he says, acknowledge the Lord. So when he speaks to you, you will know. If you step into that room and say, hey man, I don't know what to wear. I'm just wondering which shirt to wear. In fact, let me check my wardrobe. See, now you've brought the, the, the parties in that room to what you're doing. You've acknowledged them in what you're doing. Now, when you're picking up the, the shirt and then one of them say, don't wear that one. I think you should wear the red. You're like, oh, you really think so? 
You understand what I'm saying? That's the same thing we do with the Holy Spirit. If you don't acknowledge him first, even when he speaks to you, you will not know he's the one talking to you. So your role, your part is to acknowledge him first. So now, you, he tells you, wear the red one. And I said, hmm, okay, Lord. But I thought I, thought I wear, wore it two days ago. Wear the red one. Okay, I just wear it after all. Who's looking at me? <laughs> you, you take that red one and you wear guess what he has given the angels charge for that day that they will see you wearing a red shirt and when they see you wearing a red shirt coming into a Susan's old place they should open the door of favor for you now you get there and the door is open to you say ha we've been waiting for you oh really but i didn't tell everybody i was coming oh don't bother we, we just knew you were going to come oh really so yes in fact we made up our mind to do business with you oh really you'll be wondering what's going on it's because he told you what to wear and he told the angels what to do when they see you. Now, when you now walk in disobedience, he can't change what he has told the angels. See, that's the problem. I pray you're learning from this. He cannot change. He tells you wear the red one. Say, mm, no, 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 I won't wear the red one. I'll wear the blue one. I think I like the blue one better. After I even wore the red one two days ago, everybody will be thinking, I only have one shirt. No, 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 no. Ah, I can't fold my hand like that. See, that's what you're thinking. I see the canal, canality in your thoughts. And you give yourself all the reason not to obey the Lord. You carry the blue one and you wear and start marching and going. And then you get all the doors are so locked like brass. Like, what's going on here? Oh God, but I prayed. I fasted. I declared. I, I, huh? Meanwhile, when you were praying and fasting, the Lord says, I have given that to you. Now, you took that word. I said, he's giving it to me. Now, when you're about to go, he's giving you the very vital information and you discard it. All he said is wear the red one. Now, you, you don't think that's connected to where you're going because just yesterday, you heard his word of prophecy so loud in your heart telling you, my son, I have given you that which you demanded. I have opened the doors for you. Go and you shall receive blessing. You as you were, you were so full of the anointing. You were so full of the spirit. Say, ah, tomorrow I'll come back with a testimony. You tell everybody, good, God has spoken. Now you are about to go. And that simple voice, don't wear the red one. Don't wear the blue one. Wear the red one. And then you disobey. And then you go and the doors are shut against you. And they are, but God spoke to me. But God said to me, this is a mystery about life. And many times people say, but we don't understand what happened. He, we, we prayed. He fasted. He loves God. He sowed seeds. He did this. He did that. Hey, most times they will not tell you that they had the Lord tell them not to wear the shirts they wore. As simple as that. They had the Lord tell them not to enter that vehicle. As simple as that. So all your fasting, all your prayers wasted. Because when it matters the most, the simple obedience, you couldn't obey. Learn from this, brothers and sisters. Learn from this. For your life to be smooth, you have to walk day by day in obedience with him. And how do you do that? In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he's the one that will begin to direct your path. Now, I've said all that to tell you. The Lord said, we should pray every day on this broadcast and ask for our daily bread. When you do, the angels hear you and they go into action. And what's the result of their actual testimony time for you? Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, when we do it, don't just think, oh, that's this what we do every day. Say it. Say it. Now, here's the beautiful thing about it. Obedience, sometimes, you know, obedience doesn't have to as much as do it. I had faith or I didn't have faith. No. Here's how faith works. Why am I teaching all these things today? Today is really, <laughs> praise God. Hey. So, I don't know if I have faith for that. You don't need your own faith. What did Paul say? The life that I live in the flesh, 
I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself to me. Do you know the import of that statement? The life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, this is what he's saying. I don't live by my own faith. I live by his faith. Now, how do I live by his faith? Lord, what do you think I I should do? How do you think I should go about this? And then he says, say these words when you pray. Oh, really? Thank you, Lord. I'll just say them as he told me to say them. I don't have to start searching my, did I have faith? Did I release my faith when I was saying those things? I, no, he just said, say these words. And, like, and I said, okay, thank you, sir. You say it and you go to sleep. The kingdom of God is like a man who plants a seed in the ground. Now, you don't feel something pressing you so strong to dig the ground and plant your seed. No, you don't. Here is the seed. Here is the ground. You dig. You may even use your hand and dig depending on the seed you're planting. Just use your hand and dig and put the seed and cover it with soil and go sleep night and day. You don't know how. But guess what? Come days later, that tree, that plant, that seed have become a plant and it's growing up. So is the kingdom of God. How? The Lord tells you, do this. Yes, sir. You don't have to feel like it. You don't have to feel goose pimples or goose bumps all over your body. You don't have to feel all that but he told you knew what you heard and he said yes sir and you carry out the obedience what is that you are living by the faith of him the son of god who gave himself for you now he is committed to telling you what to say he is committed to telling you what to do the same way jesus lived by the faith of the father so he has called us to live by his own faith because Jesus will say, I do, I, I do only what I see my father do. Jesus will say, as I hear, so I speak. Now, what's that? He's living by the faith. So faith cometh by hearing. He's the one that releases the faith by speaking to me. So when he speaks to me, he's released his faith. Now I see the direction that he's releasing his faith to. I assume that same position and things go easy for me. Praise God. That's how it works. That's how it works. Hear me. A miracle is taking place in your life today. Why? Because he's opening the book. So I told you in Revelation, this is one prayer every one of us must pray. That's in chapter 5. I'm going to end here. Verse nine and they sang a new song saying you are worthy to take the stroll and to open this its seal for you were slain and have redeemed us to god by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us see this part you see this part you must you must make it bold if you want to write it if you want to write it somewhere you can be seeing it all the time please write it see this part verse 10 Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. I'm telling you, write this part. This is the key that is going to unlock you into the life of the, that which God has written for you. He has made. He has made us kings and priests unto our God, and we shall reign on the the earth praise god my time is up for today but i'm gonna pick up from here tomorrow i pray the spirit of the lord open your understanding today that you will learn and see what the lord is opening your eyes to see and learn in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you lord in jesus name amen i'll see you tomorrow bye